Domestic violence in Nigeria is a problem in many parts, as in many parts of Africa today. Uh, there is a deep uh, cultural belief in some parts of the country that it is officially acceptable to hit a woman, to discipline, uh, to discipline her uh, spouse. And uh, we are here this morning to really X-ray what actually is domestic violence, the forms it takes, is it acceptable, even if it's been there, do we continue to accept it the way things are going today? These and more uh, the things you're going to look into on the topic, curbing domestic violence. With us in the studio this morning to look at this is the Director of uh, Public Enlightenment of National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, Mr. Arinze Orakwe. Glad to have you in the studio, sir. Good morning. Good morning. I, I'm sure you have a wife in the house. I do have you a wife. You also have a daughter. I do. <laughs> Good to have you. Happy New Year, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Now, curbing domestic violence. Mm. Let's begin by looking at what actually is domestic violence. Okay. Now, domestic violence uh, includes all those uh, things that people do at home that violate the peace and harmony of the home. And uh, includes actions, inactions, and uh, that actually bring about either physical exertion of force, hitting or whatever in the home. And that is why that tag domestic is there. Because it's behind closed doors, under the radar of what people see in the streets. And that's why it's tagged domestic. If it violates the peace and sanctity of that home, then that's domestic violence. In other words, domestic violence has to do with anything around the home. Yeah, anything around the home. That's so, what it is. Because, you see, if you, if you cannot completely say it is only when it's, it, is, it is physical. Because if you, uh, um, uh, in the crimes within the, the, the statutes, uh, the, as it's listed, it includes, one, spousal battery. It includes uh, uh, physical violence. It includes uh, 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 damage of property of, uh, of, uh, of a spouse. Like if you have a girlfriend or you have a wife, and because it's using phone or it's on social media, you pick her phone and smash it. That's violence. You are, you are just two years imprisonment. You stalk it. It's violence. You know, shouting and abuse of a particular spouse, you know, which is psychological abuse. That's, that's violence. Now, this is, this is becoming very interesting. Yes, it should I wanna, be. I want to believe that a whole lot of people really don't They do not know. They do not know. Yeah. And that is what the Violence Against Persons Act stipulates, as in strikes. So we'll we're we're going to come back and talk about the laws. We're talking about coping domestic violence. What are the most commonest, you know, assaults on people when it comes to domestic violence? Hitting. Battery. You've heard it these days. Most times you see lots of them on social media. Husband killing the wife. Wife killing husband. You know? And it's not just spousal, even children. Rape. Oh, that's oh, domestic there, violence. There, 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 there has been a study, you know, a study by one NGO mm. that one out of every three women admitted to, you know, uh, being a victim of domestic violence. And if you that's ask, true. this is so alarming, if I must say. That's true. You know? And, uh, what do we say? Okay, look at the pictures that we see here. Yeah. A, a situation where one out of every three, you know, are victim. What are your are your 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 office actually doing? You say that's true. Yeah. You know what are your office doing to ensure that uh, this is reduced to the barest minimum? Well, we are, that's why I'm pleased that when I spoke to the MB that I like to come in and talk about it. I'm vocation now, I'm from an state. So I said, there's no better place to start than to start at home. Because, you know, we have, patriarchy is not something that is limited to uh, maybe the North or the West. We have a domineering attitude. A domin male, the male ego 
actually will always want to dominate. Okay, I think it's part of what I read in the introduction. Yes, uh, yes. They see it as a, is a traditional. It's accepted. a traditional accepted that you must correct, you must discipline your wife. But the law frowns at it. You can't do that anymore. Now you're asking me what is NAPTIP doing? What NAPTIP has done? Because NAPTIP is not only enforcing the Violence Against Persons Act. NAPTIP is also enforcing the, the Trafficking in Persons and Prohibition and Protection Act. So there are two laws that NAPTIP is enforcing. And what we're doing now is that we're carrying a lot of advocacy and enlightenment to the public. We're speaking to governors and asking them, please adopt and domesticate the Violence Against Persons so that it becomes enforceable in your state. You know, but even at that, the police has an omnibus coverage to make sure that some of these things, even if it doesn't come under the radar of NAPTIP, police can make sure you do not you have no right to kill or to hit anybody. But where it is specifically captured is under the Violence Against Persons Act. So we're carrying in, we're talking, talking to NGOs, civil society organizations, we're talking to state governors, we're talking to state assembly members, and we're asking them. What is the problem with adopting the Violence Against Persons Act? Don't you have women in your society? You think those women should not be protected? There are obnoxious cultural practices that women should, should not be exposed to. I've seen instances where some women, maybe because they are widowed and whatever, they lose their rights and whatever over, over their husband's own property. So those things are not allowed anymore. And we cannot continue to go back in age. The world has left us behind. You have no right to hit your wife. You have no right. Okay, good. Uh, you know, when we talk about domestic violence, everywhere I go and talk about this, it's always, it has this picture that it is always the men who are always hitting the That's women. That's why we are making a you mistake. Know, so, the, you yes. remember the, the last PDP chairman whose daughter killed their own husband? Yes. So I, there well, been I, I, where not just that. There was a lawyer, there was a lawyer that uh, stabbed the husband to death. In Lagos, yes, yes. yes. The, the one that is trending now is the case where the woman, a woman poured, battered the white husband, husband with acid. Yes, acid. It's on social media. You know, so you that's know? exactly where I want to come in. You know, it went from the fact that, yes, we know that men actually have this ego, the yeah. male spirit of one yeah. wanting to, you know, overshadow the women. Yeah. Yeah. How about the men who are being abused by the women? It's part of what we are talking about, and we keep saying, rather than fix, stay in an abusive marriage, Walk away with your life. It's not as easy as you just said. Because no, no, but, but uh, by, by the time you might you think it won't be easy, you would have lost your life in the process. Okay, so that, that, that brings the question. So how do cases finally get reported if the victim are too scared to do something about it? We're talking about it right now. We're talking about it right now. And we're asking people, please, do not stay in an abusive marriage. There are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are structures in the societies. Talk to your pastor. Talk to your family members. Talk to anybody that should listen. Please, intervene. Do not think it's going to work. If a man hits you once, he's going to hit you the second time. If a woman hits you once, he's going to hit you the second time. And we're talking, looking at it as if it's just spouse. Women beat their housemates. Most of the people who violate the sanctity of the home as it affects housemaids and house helps, they are women. Part of the reason why you go to people's homes now, you see, you see a child of 13, 12, 11, 9 year old as house helps. That is wrong. That is illegal. You can't do that. If Natu catches you, you have five years imprisonment upon conviction. Uh, all right. We'll get back fully to knowing what the law says about yeah. domestic violence. Please, in case you're watching, this is audience participatory. We have the phone lines on the screen for you to call and ask any question. We have people that are directly involved with handling cases of domestic violence in the society. So the numbers are on your screen. When you call us, move away from your television set so we can get to communicate effectively. Now, uh, sir, what actually does the law say about domestic violence? The law condemns it. The law frowns at it. I've listed out what those offenses are. One, rape is one. Spousal battery is one. Abandonment of spouse and children without care is, two, is another one. Then, before we go into even uh, uh, the psychological attack, abuse. Now, now the because law, those are things that the law, frown, line, the law frowns at it. Uh, two years imprisonment. Okay, two years imprisonment. Two years imprisonment, in the minimum, and including fine. Okay. 
and there are the law actually any can any of the yes acts. yes okay. and the law actually can uh, 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 at the intervention of the agency which is not as the enforcing agency for this law we can actually give you uh, uh, a place a restriction on the, on the man okay the man if if this man is is a certified certified violent person is either you place a restriction on that on such a fellow oh, let's see what's here all right hello good morning why about the meaning of what hello good morning <laughs> we lost that all right all right so, you were saying something yeah you said, so you can actually place a restriction on that with the authority of the court okay so i i remember I asked your question you know when you talked about yes we're talking about it that's actually one of the way people can actually you know get to find help yes but my question is you talk about people not staying in an abusive relationship yes why don't they leave why is it difficult for them to leave thank you very much the social cultural process that we have in place is such that at 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 birth the woman is made to understand that it is not your world it's a man's world mm. hello good morning so a woman is made to understand it's not your world it's a man's world you are a plaything, you are a toy, you are there to serve men. And that is why you see when a man who has, many men have divorced their wives because they didn't give the male issues. So if that female child is just an appendage, it's actually, it's assumed that they are not part of the process of life. So what happens is this, that now because this thing is part of our social cultural process, it's a, it's a learned behavior. It's a learned behavior to, to serve to, in a very servile manner. Which is, it's, it's not, the world has left us behind. Because even under the peer review mechanism, other parts of the world, these things are not done. The girl child has a right to live, has a right to pursuit of happiness, has a right to, to aspire to get to any position that she can aspire to. The girl child has a right to be here. All right. Uh, talking about this uh, domestic violence, you yeah. know, it's not uh, today's thing. No, it's not. And I don't know, people that have been involved in domestic violence, maybe meeting out violence in their homes. Yes. Uh, can, we, can you tell us uh, if any, 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 uh, any, any one of them have gone in for any acts of vi uh, domestic violence? Have you been recorded? Or have you prosecuted people that have done so to serve as deterrent to others? You know, have you people done that? We have because we say there is law. No, Let's see, no, how, there the, is. We, Let's we see have, how the law has really worked. You. We have done a lot in Abuja aside from advocacy and public enlightenment and education. There are so many of them that are undergoing uh, uh, prosecution right now in our courts. And one thing that we the first thing that determines what we do in the process is in the best interest of the children. The aim of the agency is not to go to say, okay, the man must go to jail or the woman must go to jail. If there are children there, you must do whatever is necessary in the best interest of those children because they are the ones that will, when two, two elephants fight, the children are, the grass will be in the distance. So you must do whatever in the best interest of the children. And we're also not looking, so what we do most of the time is to arbitrate. But let's see, let's see who's it. Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Hello? Yes, you're connected. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, your name and location. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. All right, you, you said you arbitrate. Yes, How? we arbitrate because we, we call the two parties, you know. First of all, make the man understand if the man is the abuser. If it's the woman, make her understand that one, what you're doing is wrong. We cannot permit this to continue. And then we look at, are there children in the marriage? If there are children in the marriage, then when you lose one of the parties, you already have a problem. So what we try to do is that we must stop. First of all, we take away this, the, the abuse from the environment of that, the location of the, of the, of the oh, violence. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, we're talking about uh, curbing domestic violence. At this point, uh, 
I would want you to really, you know, somebody that is passing through this. We've talked about that people are, they find it difficult to leave the house, you know. What do you tell people that are experiencing domestic violence currently? Thank you. You see, we're very religious people. We go to church, everybody in Anambra State. This particular location goes to church. You have one pastor, one priest, one reverend that you, you respect and you, you, know, you like. So the first thing to do is to talk about it. But the point is that most times, communication has collapsed irretrievably and irrevocably. And people, because of this attitude, is a family thing. Why would you take it out? Sit back and you simmer and you boil and you get down and either one of you dies in the process. So talk to your family. There are structures in place. Find that man that your husband or that your wife must have somebody that he listens to. If he has a group, some friendship group or whatever that he, he, he respects and he is part of, Find somebody there that he listens to and tell him, this is what this man is doing. If it fails completely, then report to NAPTIP. We will intervene. We will remove you from that environment of abuse. The idea, our first instance is not to take the man and to block him up. The first thing to do is to save you and then invite the man and make him understand that there is a law and you cannot continue to operate in this manner. And we also advise the girl. The social welfare, the Ministry of Women Affairs have social welfare department. For God's sake, use it and save your life. Because that's what they are there. The social welfare department are there. They are there in healing balm that should look at some of this. Because they are taught, they are trained counselors that work in this department. Now let's quickly talk about the law again before you know we leave. Time is really not our friend. Yeah. What are the law? What's the law saying? You know, what, what, what are the years stipulated for each violence? You know, when we talk about that, that okay, she talked about someone who actually killed the husband. Yes. We know people who batter, just no, you know, it, beating. It, killing the husband, that, that, that one is, uh, killing your spouse now, you know, that's a, a police matter. So that is, is, the, is the height of domestic violence. That's, that's homicide, that's police matter. You know, because you killed somebody, so you zero versus the state. There's no two about it. All right, all right. For want of time, you know, uh -huh. talking about curbing domestic violence, do we have a possibility of curbing it? The if yes, 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 yes what can. are the ways, uh, yes. you know, to what, curb What we can do is, violence. and what, what we keep telling people, first of all, I'm asking the Anambra State Assembly to adopt the Violence Against Persons Act right away, now. Because we need to save our women and the girl child, because every family has one girl somewhere if we do that then let families begin to train their children their boys and their girls to begin to cook begin to wash the era of having a dominating or an entitlement syndrome is over it cannot continue to happen because the, ma the boy cannot wash the boy cannot cook he now wants to marry a girl who will be enslaved that girl has a right to pursuit of her career, pursuit of happiness, to reach the height of her aspiration, and that is life. Okay. So, because these are the things that bring conflicts and frictions, and that could lead to somebody hitting each other. Quickly, also talk about, about the men before we go, because I, I've seen, I've seen men. They're, they're, you know, we have this thing that men are strong. Yes. You know, but a whole lot of men are going through a whole lot. I know. And they can't even come out to say to because, say. because of that feeling that I'm a man. You know, I should endure. I should, you know, get because to you can endure. The next thing is to now show violence because you feel this has gone too far. I can't take it any further. The next thing you want to use muscle. All right, all right. Let's take. And this. that's where complication has Let, Let's take this now as we round up. I was coming home this evening and I stumbled on this woman that was beaten by her husband. I took out to the husband to find out what happened. He told me it's none of my business. Yeah that he has the right to beat her. I quickly sent her for treatment and got the idiot arrested. Yeah. Every home has its challenge, but we must not resort to this. If this guy isn't tamed now, 
he may kill this woman yeah. one day. Yeah. That's report domestic violence. It's part of what we are saying. Uh, hashtag re report domestic violence. Yeah. There. That, that, you that, know, that, is that there is... any, any number you can drop for somebody that has just watched? They, they may want to reach where you, your office uh, you know, yes, yes. and where your office is. We have an office in Enugu, but I'm going to give you the Abuja number so that when you call, we will direct Enugu to come. But what you saw, what they're just talking about is what we call Stockholm Syndrome. Now, the abuse is explaining the way, the irresponsibility of the abuser mm. that has the right to be there. So, the number is 070 203 I'll take the number again. 070 30,000. That's 30000203. That is the NAPTIP headquarters number. If you call from anywhere, we will send the closest office in uh, anywhere located. We have an office in Enugu to come and rescue you. But the first thing to do is to ask the, the speaker of the Anambra State Assembly to as quickly as possible adopt the Violence Against Persons Act right away. You already won the list. All right, so I would like to thank you so much, uh, Mr. Arinze Oraque. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you so we much. I appreciate for your me. time here. Mr. Arinze Oraque is the Director of Public Enlightenment of National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons. That's a NAP tape. We so much appreciate you that tried to call but couldn't get through. Let's get help when we face the challenge of domestic violence. And on that note, We'd like to thank everyone that has been of great help to the program this morning. My name is Nonye Mokoye. It's always good to have you around. My name is Eberi Ugunna. Let's stay out of trouble. Let's stay out of domestic violence. Many thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's Good Morning, Anambra. Our breakfast TV show on ABS TV, Channel 24. My name is Iberi Ugunna. To light up your morning with... I am Nonye Mokoye. Theophilus Oko. Chidima Orangwa. Ijama Uche. Every morning weekdays, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. From newspaper reviews to interactive segments with viewer participation, news from our studio, sports, and entertainment. Join us. Tune in weekdays, 7 a.m. Good morning, Anambra, your breakfast TV show, every weekday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m.